Check out Spike Lee. This is an Instagram the director sent out to get a street in Brooklyn renamed Do the Right Thing Way to commemorate the film's 25th anniversary. I love that. And he's got a good argument because Do the Right Thing has been called one of the all-time greatest movies about life in New York. That's right. And Spike knows how to make a classic. Think of all the great movies he's directed, but Do the Right Thing tackled the issue of race like never before. We got to fight the powers that be. Do the Right Thing was actually the first movie we saw together on our first official date. So, Spike, thank you for helping me impress Michelle. More importantly, thank you for telling a powerful story. The film changed history because uh, if he had taken her to see Dry Miss Daisy, they would not be married. The Obama's special message to Spike was part of the Motion Pictures Academy's celebration of the film. Now you keep it up, you're going to end up in the street with the rest of your homeboys. Spike was most known for being Michael Jordan's sidekick, Mars Blackman, in those Nike commercials. After Do the Right Thing, he was seen as a serious filmmaker. The movie was unapologetic in exposing hatred and bigotry. What I tell you about my life? What I tell you about the What the f are you dead? I don't go into a movie saying I want to do a controversial film. I don't do that. At the time, there were fears the film might spark violence. What it's going to do is provoke thought and discussion about race relations. That's the only way things can get better. Great actor. E.T. was on the set in 1988 with screen legend Ozzie Davis, Spike, John Turturro, and Danny Aiello, who played Sal, owner of the local pizzeria. This is our pizza father. Sal's yeah. famous. And the kids, someday, the kids are going to take over this place. Spike, who also introduced us to Rosie Perez, an unknown before the movie, she was on everybody's radar by the time her dance in the opening credits had finished. All I keep thinking was, I danced so much better in the first hour. <laughs> But perhaps most important, Do the Right Thing gave America its most accurate snapshot of inner city racial tensions in the late 80s. Americans really need to look at racism, you know, very, I mean, this is just something that can be dismissed. My job as a filmmaker is to present, to hold up the mirror, you know, present the problem. And foreshadowed the 1992 L.A. riots a full three years before police were acquitted in the beating trial of Rodney King. We were telling the truth. We had the crystal ball on gentrification in Brooklyn. We had the crystal ball on, I'm going to call it on the LA uprising that happened a couple years later with the Rodney King verdict. So we were on it.